Welcome to our lesson on expanding and factorising indices with fractional powers. This is for AS Mathematics. We're going to begin by expanding the expression in question A. So we have x to the power of 1 half multiplied by x to the power of 3 over 2, which I'll write here. And this is added to x to the half multiplied by another x to the half. And to simplify this expression, because the bases are the same, and I am multiplying them, I can add for two powers. So one half add three over two. I can do the same to the next set, which is one half add another one half. So now I'm going to add these two fractions together, which is x to the power of four over two plus x to the power of two over two. I can simplify this expression. Four over two is two, so this becomes x squared. And two divided by two is one, so this becomes x squared plus x. And for question B, again, I'll multiply the bracket. So now I've got w to the power of negative one half multiplied by w to the power of a half. And then I've got the second term, which is again w to the negative one half multiplied by w to the five over two. And because the bases are the same, and I'm multiplying them, I can add the two powers. And we can see now negative one half, add one half becomes zero. So we have w to the zero. Minus, we have negative one half plus five over two, which is w to the four over two. Anything to the power of zero is one. So this becomes one minus w squared. Do you want to expand and then simplify the expressions in questions C and D? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So again, we'll expand the brackets out. So we have y to the power of two thirds plus one third minus y to the two thirds add the negative one. So here we have y to the power of one, which is just y minus y to the negative one third. Okay, and finally for question D, we have a to the one fifth multiplied by a to the quarter, and then a to the fifth multiplied by a to the third. We can add these powers together using a common denominator. So we have four twentieths add five twentieths, which is a to the nine twentieths. And then we have three fifteenths plus five fifteenths. So a to the nine twentieths plus a to the eight fifteenths. Okay, let's move on to factorizing expressions. So now we're going to factorize the expression in question A. And we need to identify what is common to both sides. And we can do the inverse of the multiplication rule here to see that one plus x to the half is common to both. Because if we have to the power of a half here, we can multiply this by 1 plus x to the power of 2 over 2, which is to the power of 1. So now we can see we have 1 plus x to the power of 1 half is common to both sides, which is here and here. So this will go on the outside of our bracket. So we can multiply this by 1 to get this term here. And then we need another 1 plus x term. We can simplify this expression by adding the ones together. And we know the power of a half is the square root. So we have the square root of one plus x multiplied by two plus x. And this is fully factorized. Do you want to try and simplify the expressions in question B and C? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So I'm going to begin by writing this in a different form where we have four lots of one minus x to the half. I've written it to the power of a half because I have one on the other side of the expression. And this is multiplied by one minus x to the two over two, because when I add these two powers together, I get the three over two here. So we can see now that one minus x to the half is common to both sides, as is the two. So we have two lots of root one minus x on the outside. We already have that here, 
so I'm multiplying that by 1. And then 2 times 2 makes a 4. We have this on the outside, so we need another 1 minus x. I can expand this bracket out. So we have two lots of root 1 minus x multiplied by 1 minus 2 plus 2x. And finally, we have 2x minus 1 multiplied by 2 root 1 minus x. And for question C, you can see that x plus 4 to the 1 half is common. And then inside our brackets, we have a 3x term here plus 5, and another x plus 4. We'll simplify our brackets here. So we have a square root of x plus 4, lots of 8x plus 20. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.